Thank you, Ben. And for our Saturday recording, we are going to do something a little bit different. We are going to, well, I am going to play Hearthstone, and Noki Bear here is going to help me. He watched my game, uh, I forget what day it was, from earlier this week, and was astounded at how wonderful I was. Those were his exact words. And I decided to sit in so that I could learn. From Something like that. So he's here, and if he happens to impart some of his wisdom, hopefully I'll pick up on that. And we are going to have some fun first and open some packs. And this is all about uh, since we're starting Hearthstone so late, uh, people have quite a bit of head start on us as far as cards, so we're pretty behind whenever we try and. Uh, Search by rarity and so what class do you want to play? Hit new deck. New deck. Well you've played a lot of the mage. I have. I let's have do a warrior. Cards. Let's play a warrior today. Okay. Actually, let's check what the daily quest is. What do we have to win with? What do I have Get some again? gold. Uh, starting menu. So, let's 
do it. Oh, and look, here's another warrior one. Okay, one so five beams. Oh. Let's do it. Okay. So let's do... You know, let's try a rogue. You're dead. I just like rogues, but let's do it. A rogue. Sanguinar. Okay. So, let's just flip through. And what, what do we want to do? So, um, we want low casting cost. Rogues are kind of really good at removing targets. So let's get, we definitely want the Assassin's Blade. And why? Um, it's three attack, four durability, so it allows us to kill potentially four creatures. And we want both of them? Sure. Assassinate I'm not too fond of. Usually one for ones are not great. So, uh, Fan of Knives is great. You'll want to to all enemy minions and draw a card, so... Ooh, um, I like that. You know, that's... We talked earlier about Hearthstone is really built around this ability to two for one um, your opponent. And it's relatively fair, so go back. Because everyone has the ability to two for one. So, let's see... Um, I'm a big fan of Conceal because it allows you to make all your creatures untargetable next turn. Um, and that's really useful if you have the right number of right type of creatures. Betrayal is one of my favorites as well. There's an enemy minion to deal its damage to the minion next to Minions next to Minions! Oh, that's nice. Go. So, I have three of those. You can only put two. And let's do a little basic math. So we're going to have 30 cards in our deck. So we're going to have an opening hand of four cards. So if we want to get a creature, um, every two or third draws, we need something like... Uh, uh, roughly five to eight creatures in this deck. So we need to fill it up with some meat and cheese and removal. So eviscerate's pretty good. Whenever you cast one spell, you get to deal extra damage. So I would definitely add in oh, here it is. Eviscerate and the Sinister Strike something. And actually, no Sinister Strikes this time. And my logic is this. If we had a few little bit better cards, we could afford cards that deal three damage, but we're really going to win by our crappy selection of creatures. So let's go backstab instead. It costs less. Um, we can use it in more versatile ways. Um, and in our deck, probably creatures is how we're going to win. So it does really the same thing because it lets our creatures attack. That makes would you sense. do both of them? I would do both of them. Have any that... Deadly Poison I'm a fan of too, so I'd put both of those. It just allows us to make use of our um, hero power. Okay, do we have anything else? Any rogue specific items? So page one, page two, we went through all that. I'm sad, but that just delays it. Yeah, I think we might come back to sap, but um, for now, okay, let's move on to the Okay, so let's just peruse through real quick and see what we got. Just go through the pages. One quick question, what does it mean when a card has animation? Good tell you. No okay. idea. It's just extra pretty. So let's go back. I already saw one thing I think we'll want. Okay. So, has charge. Let's go to the South Sea Deckhand. Two one for one is kind of what we like to do. And since it has charge, that's kind of awesome. But only while I have a weapon equipped. But your... remember, your hero power is summon a weapon. Oh, okay. So. I haven't played a rogue too much, so... Hero power. So, let's see... You know, since there are so many warriors, um, I think Acidic Swamp Booze is pretty good. Um, destroying someone's weapon is really annoying. And on that same token, the fairy dragon. 
Um, not being able to target it is kind of lame. So how many creatures we got so far? Two, three, four, five, five. And pretty crappy creatures. So it's probably going to be closer to eight to ten. Let's keep going. We have no creatures with the two together. My math might be off. It's kind of late. We definitely want the silent owl. The iron beak. I would get him just... big fan of the Acolyte of Pain whenever it takes damage to our card. So I could get up to three cards. You could. And cards is really how we're going to win. Rogues really, they need to draw a ton. So we only have one, so that's fine. Um, the Panther's pretty good. It works just like dealing four damage to a creature at worst. Um, at best, you know, we get it for a creature and four damage. Stealth just means it can't be targeted. So let's go. The Wolf Riders, I think, at worst case again, it's three damage. A creature removal at most, it's a lot more. So usually they're dealt with pretty immediately, but uh, let's keep going. Kind of want to keep our curve low here. Sengent Shield Master, Masta, is pretty good. 3, 5, for 4. Right add both of them. And go see if there's anything else that kind of... Drake seems nice. Yeah, but I don't, don't know how much spell damage we have, really. I can't remember if Rogue moves trigger off spell damage, so... Um, let's definitely add the Abomination. Taunt that deals 2 damage to everything is pretty good. Even though a lot of our stuff is low casting costs, um, decks really have to have a sweep sweeper, and that's really the best we can afford right now. What else do we have? We're, let's just go creature heavy on this, actually. So, how about those Night Blades? Um, worst case, they trade for a spell and deal 3 damage, so that's pretty nice. Do you want the storm pikes? I don't. Unless I kind of build for them, I don't really do much. Let's see what we got. Whoa! We have an Alex Strasa? Alright. Um, not the deck for that, I think. So let's go back. Uh, let's go back to the rogue um, specialty stuff. So you just click on top there somehow. There we go. Now what did we... So let's add in our sinister strikes um, and our saps. They're quick way to add... Oh, double click. Okay. Okay, so let's just take a minute to look at the map. So, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen creatures. So almost half my deck. Yeah, so pretty creatures. much every other draw should be a creature. And our starting edge should have at least three, so um, that should be pretty good. And our curve is really low, so that's good. And as far as removal, we have two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one semi-abomination wipe. So let's try. Let's try. All right. This is my. Even play against a real person. This is a really great game for um, couples, I think. What do you think of that? Well, just because it allows... It's, it's simpler than a game like Magic, where you have 
the and magic was like this at one point, just now it's it's such a big card set that it's hard for people to learn. Since you can't go through a play session without explaining ten different abilities. So this is a little easier to digest right now. Especially for us who kind of Wow has a special place in our hearts. this turn. 
And what does that open it up? That opens up for next turn Assassin's Blade and six. So potentially nine damage. Um, I think it's too early for that. That makes sense. But this is the time Warlocks can um, wipe the board. So, okay, that's fine. Both of them just means you can't cast spells this turn, they, or they cost five or something. Like that. So basically, just means you can't do much. So these are okay. You got rid of a knife juggler, so it's okay. Our options here. Now we can cast Assassin's Blade, which I think is the correct play. Both of them's effect will go away. Let's just swing in. We, we don't have too many options on this one. Straight to the face. I don't think Lotheb is that big of a deal. He might have some way to make it turn. Here we go. And we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight potential next turn. And then with a conceal, we have some safety. The ideal thing here would be... That's actually pretty good. Because now we can uh, betray... 6-6. Uh, what would be best here? Yeah, probably to betray the 6-6. Six, six. And then... Deadly Poison, the low fem. Okay, so give my weapon. Correct. And then betray. Um, uh, yeah, correct. Just like this. That didn't work what I intended, actually. I did that. You meant to do it the other way. Okay, swing into the face. Cast. Okay. That'll be our. Swing in to him. Yep, and then cast your. Here we go. And actually, this turn can conceal. That way, he can't remove it. He has to have a taunt or he um, might die. Doesn't know that we won't kill him yet. And we do have a second betrayal. So, um, things like Abomination will deal two damage. So let's see. Okay, he's gonna hit 12. That's okay. That's okay. Oh gosh. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, he died. Good game. Okay, um, there go. Oh, bye, person. <laughs> I always feel bad when I'm too slow to, uh, say anything. Okay, well, yay, we won! Good job, baby. Okay. What do you think? Do we have time for one more? You know, I think that's good for tonight. It's getting okay. kind of late for us, but um, we're going to keep up on this. Um, Meg is pretty good at magic, and we've played for a few years. Just Hearthstone has some comp some different... Um, a little bit different dynamic. Different dynamic. Um, so it takes... It's a little more um, cost investment centric. You really have to have certain cards to be competitive. There's no real... Um, in Magic, there's a format called Popper, but I doubt there'll ever be one like this for Hearthstone. So, um, stay tuned. We're going to play some more games of this. And thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, and thank you again for watching CCG Saturday. CCG Saturday. Woohoo! <laughs> and tomorrow we are going to do... What did we What are we going to do? We're doing Dota 2 tomorrow. Dota We're going to team up on Dota 2. Um... We're going to do some supporting, because Meg and I are both um, healers by heart. So we're going to do some, I think, uh, maybe some Tree Ant Protector, Omni Knight support. Kill some people. Meg doesn't know what these are yet, but she will, because it's exciting. I will learn. Um, so from us, to you, from Megalberry and Noki Bear. Good night.
night and thanks for watching. Bye!